Well, I've just gone to the hardware store, got my two up posts. I got some concrete and some cheap 70 cent buckets. And we're going to set our concrete in the buckets with the posts. And then we put the buckets underground so later I can move them out easily and move them to my next place, mate. Don't want to set them permanently in the ground. Sweet. As I go along, I think of things you guys are going to need little tools, bits, and pieces. This is definitely one you're going to need for a few stages, mate. So, got our concrete bucket ready to go, leveled off, and uh, supported and secured, <laughs> ready to go. And a bit of water and mix that in, mate. And we'll tip some more in later. And she's leveled off both ways, and I leveled the rock off first before I put the bucket down. Sweet. All good, mate. Well, my poles should be set. I leveled them both sides, and uh, came out last night, put my initials in it. Alright, so I've left the job to my site manager. She was supposed to be doing the PVC pipes and digging the hole. Yep, hole's being dug. It's good to see. So there, 9.5. And uh, when the hole's done, um, what we're going to do, we're going to put the PVC pipe, measure from the middle, and then you basically got to work out your turns first. So until I get my turns, there's no point in really finishing off the hole, but you can keep going. And um, basically the plan is then you put that bucket in the hole, and after we've measured, it... Um, it should work well mate. So there's our hole. Matilda started it off. Sweet. Thank you. Good girl. Alright, so the second bucket's going in. Try to line the hole with as much as you can. Alright, the blue line to the top of this post is the same as ground level to the top of the other post. So I've measured that up so I know where ground level has to go. And that tells me how deep to dig the hole mate. And then we chuck in some of these around it. Make sure you can uh, get a level as well and the level will help uh, do things as in keep the pole upright along the way and then if you're leveling it along the way what you can then do is once you get the bricks in and uh, chocked in ready to put the dirt you'll be able to get it perfect uh, up and down mate so I've dug one hole with some help from Matilda to put the concrete bucket in now it's going to do another one over there, and the poles are going to run along there, mate, the PVC pipe. I've come 20 centimetres down from the top, and then I've drilled with a drill bit some guide holes for the screws to go in, then you go down 20 centimetres to there. So this is going to be 40 centimetre drop from there to the next holes. We've got those two for the bracket, then another 40 centimetres, one and two. Sweet, so I've got me 90 degree turns. As expected, I've used 90 mil pipe. So, because these are smaller than the 100 or the 110 mil, I'm gonna need a gap, because they're not joining. So luckily, that's why I've kept some of the space up, because you're gonna need a little bit, just a little bit, to turn around the corner. And then that will then allow me put my bracket right in the middle. Sweet mate. And the other thing to remember, really important, is that I haven't put the other bucket of concrete in yet, over here. Right? Haven't even dug the hole yet because if I put it like that, that's nine and a half foot now. I've cut it down to nine and a half foot they're going to be. If I do that, because it has to trickle down, you're going to lose some distance. So if I put the pole in, it's not going to reach. So there you go, that's what she's going to look like going around the pole. I'm just getting them ready. I haven't glued them because the angle. Anyway, I haven't glued it yet, but I'm just showing you guys how it works. Matilda, big help again. And uh, as you can see, I've got my blue marks. And it's funny, my spacer is exactly 10 centimeters. So that was dumb luck, folks. So I'm going to do a few of those. And what you're going to do, you're not going to have much over just a little bit just enough over like that so as you can see there's a little bit there that's a bit bigger than the pipe so if you put the pipe against the pole and it's there you're not going to be able to put the lid on see the turn so you're going to make sure that you put it out a little bit as well out from the pole after putting up the stand stay tuned to my next video and i'll teach you 
how to drill the holes and how to do all the other stuff too mate like put the plants in and how much water to pump and blah 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 mate sweet Sweet!